You're watching Let's Chat. Told you a few moments ago we were going to talk with the owners of Tennessee's oldest continually operated family run restaurant. It's located right here in Chattanooga. Happy to introduce Robert Charles Dixie Jones, Hoss Lee, Johnson Burns, Fuller. We hey, call him Dixie. Hey, baby. Doing, buddy? Good, good to see you, you. man. Doing good. Uh, doing good. When you do some of the research <clears throat> into Zarzors, it is literally amazing. And you brought along a couple of the pictures that are on the wall at Zarzors. This one, I think just speaks volumes. Tell me what this one is. That is my great grandfather's naturalization papers. One Who of founded most, the restaurant. Yeah, he founded the restaurant and one of the most important things to him in his life was becoming a U.S. citizen. And he did it in 1946. Wow. And he even signed this <coughs> in Arabic. Sure did. Yeah, you can see he signed it in Arabic. And, and um, you also brought along a picture of this gentleman and his wife, who was your great grandmother. Yes. Correct? Yes, it was. And it, it's uh, <coughs> becoming a citizen equally as important to her. Hard to believe that they founded a restaurant a hundred and how many years ago? 103 years ago. Wow. We opened in 1918. And you have survived not one, but two. Two pandemics. pandemics. The restaurant survived, but unfortunately my great grandmother uh, did not. Mm -hmm. And the uh, Spanish flu of 1918 took her life at a very young age. And um, they were raising five kids in the back of the wow. restaurant. So. Which is a pretty small building. Yes, it is. Oh, community. yeah. And back then, a lot of times, um, the neighborhood was very ethnic. had all kinds of different folks. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people raised their kids in the back, right. in the back of their home, well, of their restaurants. Uh, I think they would be proud of what their subsequent generations and their heirs have, have done with the restaurant. Oh, you bet. Um, what, you do you bet. Think, what do you think your great-grandfather would say if he was to pop oh. into Zarzor's on an average lunch day? I, I think he shines on us quite often. We always talk about my Aunt Rose, which was his daughter, mm -hmm. and we always talk about her kind of coming in and out of the restaurant of the night. Right. Things move around. And so you yeah. you never know. You'll, you'll have things put in place, and next morning you, you come in and it's... Um, Change locations. So, well, all right, we're going to talk about some of the <coughs> great food you guys have got here. One of the signature dishes is this beautiful, beautiful chicken and dumplings. You bet. Every Monday, you can count on it. We have chicken and dumplings. Mm -hmm. and of course, you can. It's the law. Cornbread comes with every <laughs> with, with every dinner, and we feature this with our slow cooked turnip greens and pinto beans. So much of the food that you do at Zarzor's, if not all of it, is done by hand. Oh, yes. It's you don't fool with can openers. No, sir. You don't fool with <coughs> freezers, microwaves, things no, like that. No can openers whatsoever. Wow. And uh, we also have a um, tomato and cucumber salad. Mm -hmm. One of my favorites. Oh, it's wonderful. And We're going to get to the desserts coming up here in a okay, few Okay, you better believe it. Cornbread, one of the signature items oh, at you bet. Zarzor's. We do um, hand, you know, hand pwn cornbread mm -hmm. every morning fresh. <coughs> they just keep coming off. Um, just out of there. Right. Usually, go ahead, 16, go ahead and cough 16 if you need to, to, brother. If you need to cough, I can <coughs> I know enough about Zarzor's to where I can yeah. fill in the rest of this. Uh, so, how many how many pounds of cornbread do you go through a day? Oh, uh, usually about fifteen. Wow, fifteen. You know, six inch personal. We cut those up, fresh butter. Um, it's incredible. And it's amazing some of the uh, more prominent Chattanoogans you will see at Zarzor's having lunch. Oh. A lot of times folks from out of town come, oh, come you into bet. Zarzor's. Yeah, we're on, we're on road food, uh, Michael and Jane Stern's road food. Mm -hmm. People from the West Coast will figure out some way to find Zarzor's. They'll see us. I personally know a guy that lives in Kansas City, Missouri, was taking an extended road trip. Stretch Ruminer. Oh, yeah. Uh, Stretch came in from Kansas City to have lunch <clears> at Zarzor's. <throat> now, Baked ziti. This is one of my favorite dishes. All of them are my favorite yeah. dishes you guys crank out. Tell me the secret behind the baked ziti. Uh, well, Mary, Mary does the baked ziti, and it's just wonderful. It's one of our few Italian-style dishes that mm -hmm. we do. Well, <coughs> we also do baked spaghetti. Right, baked yes, spaghetti. Well. It, and they're both out oh, of this world. Wonderful. You get tossed salads, you can have coleslaw, coleslaw whatever you like with you it. You better right? believe it. You better believe it. All right, and I guess Zarzor's kind of came to the national spotlight a few years ago when... I believe it was Southern Living said you had the best hamburger in the state the of state. Tennessee. You better believe it. And there we go. How do you do that? How That's did you pull that Shan off? There's a lot, lot of competition in the <coughs> burger business. Well, my wife Shannon came up with this one. And mm -hmm. by golly, she put us on the map with the hamburger. Well, to hear Shannon tell it, she does all the work. Oh, yeah. Well, she, she does. <laughs> she does most of it. Believe she? me, she does. How do you make such a good burger? Ham-padded burger. Mm -hmm. We got uh, Need Loves makes this uh, particular bun for us. Right. And it's just perfect. It's wonderful. And what comes with that? Oh, yeah. You get your uh, tomato, you get your pickle, you get your lettuce, mm -hmm. 
You get your onion. Fresh tomato. Mm, yes, sir. All fresh. Grown onion. It is all, if you had to sum up <coughs> the charm of Zarzor's into 30 seconds or less, what would it be? Well, it would be the ambiance. The insults come in, included with the price. <laughs> so you, you never know what you're going to hear when you come to Zarzor's. That's true. Uh, from behind the counter. Mm -hmm. But a lot of really cool people come and go. If you come in and the place is full and there's one, there's one chair at a table, we're going to seat you there with some right. folks that you don't know. By the end of the lunch, you're going to know them and you're going to. You'll have new you'll, friends. You'll like them. You better believe it. It is a wonderful place to meet new friends. You no better believe about it. it. Uh, there's so many things that are available on the Zorzor's menu day in and day out. Chicken and dumplings on Monday. What about Tuesday? Uh, okay. Tuesday will probably be either baked spaghetti or probably some mm -hmm. sort of a pork chop. A lot of times we'll do a pork tenderloin. Right. <coughs> with, every, with every lunch, we have turnip greens, pinto beans, coleslaw, pickle beets. And you and, got, you got to say room oh, for Oh, yes. You, by all means. Uh, banana pudding. What is this? Lemon icebox pie. Lemon icebox pie. And it's wonderful. All homemade. Mm -hmm. Nothing comes, you know, everything is in-house. This was our buddy Don Welch's absolute favorite dessert he did. on he loved the that. planet. <coughs> Lemon icebox pie. One of his favorite things. Now, tell me about the banana pudding. Ooh, it's really good. Lower your that voice was my, that, was, that, really was, that was my mom's uh, secret recipe. I don't think I've ever gone to Zarzor's or picked anything up from there where I didn't say, you oh, got any banana pudding? It's just wonderful. And that, we run out of it. Last week, we went through three complete banana puddings. Uh, people just love this. Wow. We're known for having really good desserts. I also do homemade, uh, homemade ice cream. And uh, that's just, homemade ice cream. Yeah, homemade ice cream out of a, a small uh, churn. Mm, uh, mm, and mm. Uh, tomorrow or today, I've got um, peach. Homemade peach ice cream. And man, it is all good. Got to tell you, Zarzor's is open for lunch Monday through Friday, opening at 11, closing, closing at, at 2 o'clock. Closing at 2 o'clock. And recently, you've started delivering within a reasonable you, area, You right? better believe it. Yeah, when, when things went south at uh, Riverbend Festival, I ended up coming back to the restaurant and probably just getting in everybody's way. But <laughs> <laughs> so they figured out how to make me go and deliver things sure. and get them. So yes, we do have free delivery. And the foods you just can't beat. They're located on Rossville Avenue, not on Rossville Boulevard, Rossville Avenue, 1627. Up close to Main Street. Call them at 266-0424, 266-0424. Dixie, always a pleasure, oh, my friend. Thanks, man. Hopefully you'll come back and join us here in oh, a few yeah. days. We'll see you tomorrow at 10.